The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 87. You get the Nasdaq up 48. S&Ps are up 12. Gold's down 670. You have silver down 20 cents. Uh, copper's up uh, three and a half pennies. We got the light squeed crude market flat. Uh, notes, 10-year uh, notes flat, 124. 30-year bond up 11 ticks. 148.29. King dollar. King dollar is down 79 ticks at 100.970. The euro is at 106. The yen's trading at uh, 115. And uh, if we do go over to the uh, NDX now, the NDX, folks, was the last major indice uh, to try to get up into its highs. And what a way that it did it. Okay. Uh, so if you're a, a futures trader out here, you, you just saw that the NQs just went from 48.85 uh, to 49.41. So that's uh, 60 or well, 55 points in literally 10 minutes. Yeah, and then back down 10 points from there. And so that far. exactly. So the key is going to be here. The <laughs> kicker is going to be, uh, you know, if we take a look at the cash, NDX. This thing has been trying to hit this thing forever, meaning the high. Uh, it's 49.11.793. Volatility, baby. It's here in spades. We have the Fed starting the meeting today. Someone must have got inside the Fed and said, hey, we're going to give out more free money, man. Let's get the market up another 100. At least 20,000. Where's, you, where's your 20,000 hat, man? We're right here. Hey, I, I, think I better have it right I, in my back pocket, man. We're 100 <laughs> points away. We could have 20,000 by the end of the show. It, there's, there's no doubt, man. Very serious business. Serious business. <laughs> we talk serious business, folks. Let's go over our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks from the TD Ameritrade Think or Swim. And don't forget, folks, every trading day, right here, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time, Kevin Hinks, Scott Connor, they get an amazing show, Swim Lessons. You want to understand options upside down? Guess what? Bottom line. 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time, right on your cell phone. Go to TFNN.com, hit Tiger TV. Kevin Hinks, what's going on? Tom and Tommy, how we doing, guys? I'm telling you, man. I think man, we're doing all right. I'm, <laughs> you know, you know, I'm telling you, man, that uh, this morning, Kevin, I do a daily newsletter, right? And, yeah. you know, most times, you know, you, you get a feeling of what's going on. This morning, you know, I says, you know what, man? I, I, I says, I'm not doing anything for the first couple hours. I yeah. gotta see what is happening here, man. So you're gonna have two updates. Yeah. To, to make and, sure and, you and figure out what's... I never expected the NQs to go up like 60 points in like five minutes. But bottom line, <laughs> that's what we got. I expect the unexpected. Yeah. There you go. So you know, there, there's a big, this market is gonna come to a big crescendo tomorrow at about 2 p.m. Eastern time. Oh yeah. And you know, everyone knows what she's going to do in terms of movement on the race. I think that's pretty much been asked and answered. Yes. However, what she says coming out of that meeting, I think is going to set the tone for the next 30 to 60 days in this market. Yeah. Right. No. What she says about interest rates and what, you know, it's like an earnings call, right? You get the number. We're going to get the number. And then we're going to get that call, that press conference after where she's going to set guidance. And that's where the rubber's going to hit the road. That's what everyone's waiting for. Because we saw even the ECB, right, when they come out with their number, and then right. they had the press conference with Draghi, and, they, and he explained what they were going to do. Yep. And that's right. what mattered. And, and it's the same totally. And, and, you know, I wasn't trying to get too carried away yesterday. I'm saying to myself, hold it. This, this is like, this is building up to something really big. And it really is. That, that's the reality. Because I think when you just said, we all understand that the rate has come. Well, what else is coming? I mean, are we going to go another 2,000 points? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know. if, if, the, if the stock market, as we say, is a three to six month look into the future, then we want to know what's going on in, out to June. Yeah. Right? That's what we're planning for right now. Right. So right. that's what we all should be ready for. And, you know, the market's up, nine, the Dow's up 96, the SPX is up 12, and VIX is up. Right? Yeah. Or at least not down. It was it was up. It was up over thirteen. Now it's back down a little bit here. But 
you know, everyone's, I think there's a lot of people right now keeping their powder dry <laughs> and waiting to see what this, let, let this market make the first move. At least that's what I would do. That's oh, what I'm doing. I, I, I'm glad I let the market make the first move th th this morning. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Right? I mean, I don't want to. You know, I don't want to be. I don't want to be the bug on the windshield when this market moves. I'm telling you, man. And you know that's why when you're talking about options, folks, and when you're talking about defined risk, uh, is it, it's just a great trading vehicle. And what we do have happening with markets that are this high, as Kevin was just saying, um, that expansion higher, the VIX is going higher simultaneously. So that's saying that people are putting on insurance. They're putting on protection. You know. Sure. You know. Sure. That means implied volatility in the SPX is not going down. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's, it's at least, at bare minimum, firm right. here. Right. Yeah. I'll tell you, man, yep. it's going to be, uh, and, and I suspect as we go through today, Kevin, there's going to be a lot of that going on now because people are sitting there scratching their head like, okay. Absolutely. You know, I mean, Jan you know, let's go through the past, Tom. Yes. Janet Yellen has a history of walking the tightrope in her press conference, yep. right? And and she has a history of being dovish. Oh, yeah. So if, you know, is she going to go different from her normal uh, standard operating procedure going forward? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> it's must-see TV, that's for it sure. It definitely and, is. And and guess what? You can watch it right here at TSN, right. folks. It's we'll a be beautiful live. thing. 12 to 20. before the storm, guys. Have a good day. You too, man. Have a great one, Kevin. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 74, and Nasdaq's up 49. S&Ps are up 11. And as you come over to our website, at TFNN, folks, you're going to see uh, we've been doing this uh, just about uh, almost every year for yeah, quite a while years, now. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And what we have, uh, we've got the holiday season. We're going to have the Salvation Army Tiger Dollar Sale. Um, it's a great cause. You can get... Um, Bonuses in the Tiger Dolls, and this uh, this year uh, we've done something uh, pretty unique, actually. Um, there's three different levels, but you get a 25% bonus on each level, and then we are donating 10% of the cash value to the Salvation Army, and that's donated in your name. So it's it's pretty a cool deal that how they they work it out. We we send them the check, we send them all the names. Salvation Army itself sends right to your house. Yes. You know the tax. Uh, um, yeah, the receipt. The of tax the donation. receipt. Yeah. Uh, so this year, the way it's working is that you can either buy 600 Tiger dollars and you get a 25 percent bonus, and you get 750 Tiger dollars that you can be used on everything at TFNN, totally transferable, no expiration date. You can buy 1,200 do Tiger dollars and get 1,500. The purchase would be 1,200. You get 1,500, 25 percent bonus. All you buy 18 and you get 2250. And in that case, if you buy the 600, we um, give Salvation Army sixty dollars. You buy the 1200, we give them 120. You buy the 1800, we give them a buck eighty. And yeah. uh, that comes right. You know, that's that's a that's it's, a great deal, man. Yeah. You know, especially if you're looking to subscribe to anything, go to any of the workshops. You know, Basil Chapman just had his workshop. You can yes. still sign up for that. Those Tiger dollars can be used. You can right. take part of this. Any newsletter. Um, and so that goes through next Thursday, December 22nd. Right. The 23rd is going to be a slow day that Friday anyway. Big time. And we'll wrap things up. That way we assemble the list, put things together, get the check together, and that way it's in this year as well. Um, and normally, Tiger Dollars go from 10 to 20% bonus, depending on what you purchase. So in this right. one, everybody gets a 25% bonus, which is usually above like the highest level. Right. And 10% of whatever you spend goes to the Salvation Army. So right. it's a cool deal. It's a great promotion. And, um, you know, it's awesome being able to raise that money. I, I've gotten to literally take the check down the last few years, and it's great, right. man. It's a great feeling, you know. It's awesome that people contribute. I know. Every time we call out. them back, you can't believe it's it, right? It's great, I yeah. Know. You know, know, because it's a local deal, you know, that we're bringing down to the Salvation Army right near us. So that's going back into a local community. And, right. And they, they really do good with the money. You yeah, know? huge. Yeah. Huge. Um, Market-wise out here, so let's see what we got happening out here. So you got uh, inside the NDX. That's the one I want to look at here. So inside the NDX, the, the move is out here. You got Mylan Pharmaceutical up for 3%. Um, Share is up uh, 3%. Uh, Tesla Motors is up 3 Illumina is up 2.76. Um, Alexion is uh, still down. That's down another uh, 28 uh, Surin Corporation is down 1.9. Um, Viacom is down uh, 8 tenths, but you know there must be. Let me look at Microsoft because something's moving. This uh, yeah, Microsoft's breaking out. Google. I'm sure, they're all having decent days. Yeah, they they got to be because for the NDX to get up that high. Um, yeah. No, that, not to get that high that fast. No. Right. That's yeah. Amazon's up 18 dollars. Uh, let's go look at the IBB. The IBB is not, that's only up three bucks. There are a couple of biotechs on the negative side there, yeah. on the leaders NQZ, on the way down. So NQZ6, we go back into the futures for a second. Yeah, this is hanging right there. So on the futures, what you have is this now. This is going to be interesting, okay? So your, your expansion up, you got to the 49.41. I would particularly like to see this thing tested right now because what I did do uh, inside the Nadex platform, uh, I sold this thing. I saw and, you did. <laughs> and this is this is where, folks. Okay, uh, you talk about defined risk. You know, you, you. I was waiting for this NDX to hit this thing for a long period of time and the high, right? The high. Yeah, yeah, you know? right. Nice no, one to follow. And yep. you know, yep. we'll see whether it can sure. hold. Um, I mean, if you're just looking for, you know, you're, you're looking for volatility at the same time. Why don't we pull up Nadex? Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, 
because we went through <coughs> it. And you know, it's a it's a low probability trade, as it in is. you're going to lose a lot of the time, but it's a high risk reward trade, it which is. is you know, and that's where you're looking for huge moves potentially. Um, so this is the spread that you're in. The ceiling is 49.10. Right. So right now we're 27 points. We were uh, as close, you know, about 20 points above the ceiling. Yeah. So you got in at 49.061. So you're paying about $39 per contract. Yeah. And so that's your break even, 49.06. But guess what? You have profit potential all the way down to 48.30, oh. right? What I so, loved about it was an 80 point spread. Yeah, <laughs> right. If you just take, happen a, to get a huge turnaround, I mean, right. you, you know, paying 39 and then the max profit is the, the, the difference between the 39 and the 800. You know, right. so like the 861, right. whatever it is. Right. Uh, 761. Right. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, that's the first part. Now, what gets interesting, I, I also okay. bought the euro this morning. I saw. That wasn't, this wasn't the. Uh, uh, I was buying this right in the middle of the spread, basically, this morning. Okay. But I like that Euro trade. Do you yes. know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, with, with the, the disconnect is out here right now, uh, which is pretty cool, uh, in the marketplace, is that if, you, we, if we go over to the gold contract for a second, which is pretty cool, so you go, go gold down 830, yep. yet the dollar's still down. Yeah. I, like, I like that. Yeah. I, I like that trade, too. Sure. So, watch this. So, if we take a look at the, you know, the... They got gold at 11.57. It hits 11.56. The lows of yesterday was 11.52, I think. One second, was it? Yeah, 11.52. Um, yeah, we'll see whether they can hang down there. You know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't. I think all day long, what you're going to see, you're going to see some uh, heavy-duty volatility, uh, specifically when we come into this close out here today. It's going to be okay because every, everyone is basically positioning themselves and saying, okay, you know. Put tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. You know, it's like, okay. Um, you know, and then the meeting started today, of course. You right. Know, and we'll see. Uh, nothing ever comes out the first day. That's yeah, for no, sure. it's just waiting. You know, if we go take a look at the, uh, let's go look at this, uh, the IWM. So the, the small caps, that's interesting. See, now the small caps, you know, didn't go to another high out here today. Yeah, and quite a big day that's going on. Oh, see, big time! And the, the, what the small caps have also done, they were, uh, they are, uh, have been a rocket ship. There's yeah. no doubt about that. Maybe they overshot a little bit. Yeah, you know. No, listen, it's, it's <laughs> you know, because that is quite a run ahead. Huge. Yeah. Uh, we have the Dow nineteen thousand nine fifteen, so eighty five points. You know, one of the tigers brought something up in the den, which is even every time that I was saying it, I was, it, it's almost too easy that the 20,000 is out there and should be hit. And he was saying, yeah, everyone's waiting for the 20,000. So we just you know, don't get there. Yeah. 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 I mean, did, 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 there's, there's a whole thing yeah, there. It's a 17.9. It's close enough. Well, you know what's so cool? Just, and, within and, 100 points, you can't get any closer, really. And what, 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 what I really was so cool about the marketplace in general is that all those things continually happen in your head going along. Sure. I mean, you know, <laughs> seriously, man. Seriously. Um, the the notes, these notes, man. I'm telling you, the, the we'll see the, what happens with those rates. Yeah, you know, I, I say to Tommy this morning that you know my take is that we're still uh, they, they're trying to get off the bottom. But guess what, man? They're having a hard time trying to get off this bottom, man. Do you know what I mean? Sure. You stay right there. Tommy and I are coming right back, folks. Dow's down up 72. Nasdaq's up 60. S and P's are up 12 and a half. We're gonna break back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. 
If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up uh, 71. NASDAQ is up uh, 59. S&Ps are up 12. NQ, yeah, we'll go over to the H contracts because the roll did happen uh, this morning, big time. So the H contract right now, which is the March contract, is trading, hit a high of 49.47, and you're, you're at that high right now. We're at 49.45. I'll change these on the Bloomberg. Um, so that's uh, this is this gets more interesting too, because the so that has 120,000 contracts. NQ. Z. Yeah, it's going to have like 50 or something. So the roll's right there. Yeah, 46,000. So at the next break, I'll change all those contracts. Um, that is to be aware of, but the Nadex ones are probably the Z, right? Yes. Still, that's to be. Yeah, I've got to, I got to look at that. There's no doubt, though. Yes. That, that's right. There's, there's, that's, and that is a big deal, folks. You want to make, <laughs> you want us no bigger deal than knowing what you're trading. You no, know, exactly. And uh, yeah, I better look at it right now, actually. One second, just to make sure that. Uh, so, yeah, December. Yeah, oh, no, yeah, no. Nope, sorry, it's the March actually. I saw the euro is the December. Um, it's, it's March. It's the US March. Tech March. Okay, then hold. Let me look at this again. So, I mean, we can see it right here. It's at forty nine forty five. Okay. I think the December one. Forty nine forty six. So that's in favor of your weight by a point. Oh, <laughs> I'm lucky, man. That's. Yeah. Yeah. That's unusual. Yes, they, they yeah. usually are a little bit further and apart, to, right? Well, actually, now, see, that's, that what gets interesting about this is that they're discounting where that's going to be in March by a point. How about that? Because that's, that's what that really means, right? You know? I'm not it's sure a, if it's that's a what that means. Well, it's a futures contract. Okay. Like, you know, it, it, if you trade in oil or gold or something like that, what, what does end up happening as, you, you know, you can, we always trade the active contract. But like sure. it would, when traders are actually putting bigger trades on, they'll go out six months from now, nine months from now. Now they're less liquid, but there's all the contracts that are out there. And, sure. and they're saying, okay, what is that going to be at that particular time? Do you sure. know what I mean? And as one of our uh, traders is saying in here that uh, the, uh, the equities, the gold equities are catching a bid. So the GDX, uh, that baby is flat right now, but it was... Uh, we just went from 2059 to 2074. If we look at the NUGT, the, see, I love it when these disconnects are out here. 
meaning the disconnect that the doll was down sure. and gold's down like yeah. and not down a little it's down eight bucks yes. it's like really you're yeah. down eight bucks yeah you're down eight bucks <laughs> so what are you doing down eight bucks not like, right yeah what are you doing um it'd be interesting here that the Dow seems to be the one that uh, is losing some traction here. Pulling back a little bit. Yeah, I just I think it just pulled back 60 points. <laughs> right? The uh, high is uh, 915. Yep, 60 points. Yeah. What the heck's going on? <laughs> We're right where we opened too, which is interesting. You better better call you better call the Fed up right now. Better call the people that are trading the Dow up and say, hey. What's your problem out here, man? That Nasdaq hasn't turned around yet. No, man. it hasn't <laughs> moved at all. <laughs> it hasn't Unfortunately. moved at all. Exactly, exactly. Oh, man. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the uh, higher volume stocks in this market. Uh, Apple's up a buck. 80. What's going on with Apple? Can we see yeah, the news? Totally. I mean, that's a huge move for Apple. It, it is a huge move. Yeah. It's going into a downdraft from... Um, October 26th, but it's a good move, man. There's no Is doubt. Is that earnings for them, maybe? I, I think, don't know what that was, I to have a big gap like that, it, something. It, it almost seems like, you know, everything else was moving except the, the tech stocks. So it's like, okay, did, you know, someone sell everything else they own to say, okay. Sure, now, I gotta, now it's time to get now in it's, Now it's time to move these tech stocks before the end of the year, too. Yeah. You know, which, hey, it's which that, that happens, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, but if we continue to see uh, this good old S and P and Dow go lower, it'll drag it lower. Well, that's that's a pretty that's a good move right there. And we just we just went from two two six seven to two two six zero. You know, it would have to get under the two two. Oh, we're right there, man. This is interesting. So the no, the number we're looking at, folks, is two two five nine. And the reason I'm saying right underneath that, that's where this thing spiked higher. Inside the S&Ps. Yeah, the open this morning. Yeah, yeah. So. The uh, XLE. So oil's flat. Well, the uh, XLE is flat. The XLF. The financials, okay, they're backing down a bit. They're at uh, 2343. Um, what's going on, man? Carlos. Carlos, what's going on, brother? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. How are you guys? Morning, Carlos. You're doing great, man. How you been? I'm happy to talk to you guys. I'm you too. doing very well. Thank you. Good, man. Good. I got some rest this morning, and I'm fresh with these uh, medals. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I right, got some rest this morning. They're I'm ready to go. These oh, yes. yes, I had to take some uh, uh, some rest because uh, I noticed the uh, the uh, the metals were acting in a way where they were just waiting and waiting and waiting to know something something may come up maybe at seven thirty and exactly at seven thirty and. Uh, Pacific time. Good for you, man. Uh, the metals are giving me the opportunity to get in again, and okay. I'm here. Uh, Tom, um, I'm right now, and uh, I'm going to ask you only for uh, a platinum, a splash forward PL, and the, okay. the futures. And the futures? Um, yeah, I've been in and out from this one. Yep. And even though I I do not have a position right now, I want to I, I want to um, spot a better entry area. The, the uh, 930 because uh, I noticed the uh, silver and gold are pulling back more than this one. This one is barely pulling back. And can you give me your opinion about the uh, platinum? This yeah, one? so uh, and the platinum futures we're talking about, right? Yes. Okay, so let me, I got the spot here. One second. PL, I have, there's no reason I keep going through this. PL, let's see. Let's try it. Platinum commodity spot. There we go. Thank you. PLF7. Okay. PLF7. Okay. We, we got it, Carlos. Right. Okay. Let's take a Good look at GPO. Here. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So we're at 931.30. Okay. Get the 
volumes on this. Where's that volume? Hmm. Why is it doing nothing? Okay. So when this thing went topside at 820, it started at uh, 928.70. Right now you're at 931. And it's pulling back with a lot lighter volume, that's for sure. One second. Pull that, bring it in closer. You know, right here is where it's at. You know, you, you got on the... Okay, so on yesterday at uh, 920, 928.40 is the number. Here, yeah, stay right there, Carlos, all right? Thank you. Tell me I come okay. right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the markets, folks, Tommy and I are going to be right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, right now, we have the uh, Dow up 64, NASDAQ is up 52, S&P is up 10 and a half. We're talking with I'm at Carlos from California, and we are talking uh, Platinum, PLF7. Um, okay, so you're, did this just move a dollar? I think it, it did. did. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this, to me, Carlos, this is the place to get in. That's what it comes down okay. to. Yeah, you know, okay. I mean, what it, what, you know, what it did here, you know, 8.30, you go up, you pull back, you pull back with light of volume, and then as I said, uh, is it yesterday, which is pretty cool, 
is that what stops this from getting croaked? That's Friday. You're looking at oh, that. Oh, Friday. Thank you. Okay. okay. Is that on Friday? This is where it came down from, you know. Yeah. And so there's actually so much volume at the 920 level from 920 to 926. Like it's, it's hard to break down. There's a thousand contracts there. Then we went up yesterday at 920. Well, that's interesting. Someone likes trading that at 920. Is that you, Carlos? <laughs> yes. Perfect. Yes. I like it. I like it. <laughs> totally. <laughs> totally. <laughs> I've been in and out in that uh, platinum uh, since uh, they pulled back. Okay. And it's been very worrying. And uh, is that uh, um, newsletter from uh, the public report is helping a lot. Well, I appreciate to stay that. Stay away and to get in. Thank you. Yeah. No, listen, that's I I like the trade too, man. I what I think so intriguing here is that, you know, like last couple of days I went long the euro, you know, I'm I'm you know, I, I like the gold market. And the more that it keeps, you know, messing, you know, kind of jamming it down like this, the more it's like, okay, you know, you can't uh, do it Trump. again. We get we what we have to do is make it by the two o'clock time frame tomorrow. That's gonna be the number. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, that's one of the things. I want to uh, make sure on uh, this move, if we get the move today, I can uh, practically get out and uh, yeah. get a position uh, at lower prices in case um, and the announcement we go either too far down, I can get at least something activated. No, I, I agree. I agree. Um, Tom, I'm sorry. No, sorry. no, go ahead. I, I, I need to ask your opinion about uh, something, but if you want to finish your comment, it's fine. No, the I what you were saying, and that, that's the way to trade that, folks. Okay, if you're coming in flat tomorrow, right, and you are bullish and you, on metals, right, what you want to do is you want to take a look at the the contracts and say you want to put a bid way under that contract value. And guess what? If it spikes down and you get it and you're happy with that, great. I think that's the way to trade it. Sure. I, I like trading like that. You know. Like in yeah, gold, like if I just go into gold, oil. I'm sorry. It's like when we trade oil on Wednesday. That's when right. I say we, you guys. No, no, totally. Right. There's, there's no doubt, man. You know, like uh, the gold contract. So you have a high volume low yesterday at uh, 3:20 a.m. at 11:52.50. Well, coming into it, it's like you know what? You can put a bid under 11:52, and you know, hope. I'd, and that's gonna be like 11:45 or something. If it spikes down and gets it, great. God bless you. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. Uh, um, Tom, I, I need to ask you. I noticed uh, in some countries they're, right now they're uh, eliminating their large bills, India, and uh, yeah. I, I heard um, Venezuela is doing the same thing. Yes. And um, uh, the, the, the question I have is, I, last time I was in Mexico, I heard um, very strongly that there's uh, some politicians that are having a, a move to turn from uh, debase the do the peso from the dollar and turn it into silver, uh, will that make sense to you? Uh, as knowing that Mexico is one of the largest producers in the world of uh, silver, and yeah. this move has several years way back. I remember when I was there, because in the past that was how the currency was in the uh, 1910s. Uh, sure. It was based on silver. Sure. And they debase that and they turn into the dollar and we're facing a dollar right now that is right now is twenty over twenty thousand pesos per dollar. The real the real right. I mean the real the real value because they cut zeros on the on the currency to make it more easy to handle. But um that's the reason we have only uh, twenty pesos, but it's is a true the true value is twenty thousand pesos per dollar. Right. So and, uh, does that make sense to you? Well, in in the world, I think Carlos, that Tommy, yourself, and I would like to be in. That'd be great if, in fact, uh, currency. Uh, let's say Mexico. So Mexico, folks, is the, one of the largest producers of silver in the world, right? They have more silver than anyone. Okay. So what he's saying is that is that we'd go to a silver-based um, yeah. currency. Now that is the strongest that you can get. And that would be beautiful because it's a true, it's hard to rip people off. But I don't see that happening, uh, unfortunately. You know what I mean? Because what happens is that fiat currency is how large governments and corporations control the world. And they're not going to give that up without a fight. And, you know. Well, it seems like the, um, um, the move 
on the uh, um, new elected president is kind of reviving that on the left side of the political agenda in Mexico. It's a, 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 a man who uh, is trying to be president, and he's very leftist. Yeah. Uh, and he said we have to debase from the dollar because, I mean, we'll be subject to Donald Trump's uh, decisions, and this way they, they, he's telling the people that it's easier to not depend on the United States. Well, well it's easy to tell you the truth. We depend so much on the United States that you can imagine. Well, the, the, this is the the important part of all of that. This is what ends up happening. If you don't have debt, and that your currency actually has a, either a silver or gold behind it, none of you, no one's in slavery. That's that's the point. That's the point of having it, because. The way that countries and corporations run is that you get in debt, you get fiat. Well, the, the way the fiat currency works, the fiat currency works is that you can just keep running deficits. Is that when you have a strong backed currency, you can't run a deficit because you need the backing of it. And that's all. That's why they got rid of gold. You know what I mean? Because you can't just keep running up the bill if you don't have the gold, and you can't keep running up the bill, let's say, of doing it in Mexico without having the silver. So someone's got to go dig up the silver. So you see what I'm saying? I, you know, yes. and, listen, in, in, in a great world, that'd be a great way of doing it. But I think we're too far down the line um, for that to fly. Well, but I, I'd, I'd, su I'd support it in a second. It's just that um, I just don't see it happening, you know. Well. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, man. Tommy, have a great day, too. You Thanks, too. Carlos. Have a great Thanks. one, man. Have a safe one. Um, we get over and we take a look. So the, so you got the, the Russell is having the tough time here. So the, we first brought up the IWM was down a bit. Let's get a little acceleration. Um, you know, you're down, you're only down 47 cents, but you can see what we just did. We just took out the last couple yeah. of days. We're down a buck sixty off the highs too. Oh, thank you. I, yeah. I, I, I felt like we we're down more than that. Yeah. I'm saying to myself, this is kind of strange, though. Um, but what you, we, we're right back uh, where we were last week. You know that now, if the small caps get under one thirty eight twenty one, then you're going to get an acceleration because one thirty eight twenty one uh, is uh, on the eighth when that thing went topside in a big way. In fact, I was reading an article uh, in the journal today. You know that when we come back, Tommy and I will talk about it. Uh, it was the one of the biggest trades down on the E-minis. Um, and it was on that Wednesday about how many contracts went through. Okay. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Dow right now uh, up 66. NASDAQ up 50. S&P's up 10 and a half. We're going to be right back. Are China A-shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com.
It's 2016, and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern Time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technicians Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. And uh, folks, don't forget we uh, are doing the Tiger Dollar Salvation Army sale. I uh, just started it today. It goes until next Thursday. Uh, you get a bonus of 25% uh, uh, on uh, whether it's you're buying 600, 1200, or 1800. And then we are donating in your name to the Salvation Army 10% um, of the cash value. And they will send you the uh, tax certificate uh, for, the do for the donation. So check it out on the front page of TFNN. Uh, we were just talking about the. Uh, what else so are we checking out? Look, right? at, look at this. Yeah. Okay. The biggest e-mini futures trade of 2016. This was done on December 7th, folks. Yes, last Wednesday. Yep. At about 1.21 yep. in the afternoon. Uh, so 1.8 billion futures traded, fueled buying in the U.S. stock market on Wednesday, the biggest transaction of its kind all year. Um, an unknown buyer, December 7th, which is last Wednesday, 1.21 p.m., 16,000 e-mini S&P 500 futures contracts, 1.8 billion. And... Um, so simultaneously, it, went, it sent it to a record high. Yeah, it was parceled into individual transactions, but it I'm pretty much pull it was up one so trade. You can see it. Right. So these are five-minute bars they go through in the contracts. Um, that's 121 in the afternoon. There's all the volume, and then they say it's taken together. The purchase was more than double the size of the second biggest trade, which was in January for a sell of about seven thousand. Right. And then. It sparked a frenzy of super fast trading as other market participants piled in and a total of 3.4 billion worth of e-minis changed hands within two seconds, including the, uh, the original. 3.4 billion. So yeah, let's bring up. Two seconds. Yeah. Talk about some computers, man. Totally. Okay, okay so go now let's go back. I'm going to go, uh, so I got to pull up uh, ES, right? ESZ, because that okay. was in the Z contract. Okay. And we'll... Huh. We need a little bit further back, That's, right? Yeah, I'm going to go five days back. And there we are, right there. Okay, so look at this. Right so there. So there's one o'clock. There it is, man. Right there. Yep. Wow. So it came out of nowhere. Yeah, it's probably within that bar right there. Yeah. If it ends, depending on when, what time frame, but yeah. Right there. Unreal. And then... Into the look at into the close. Oh my God! Into the close, folks. That was six hundred no sixty nine thousand five hundred forty five contracts into the close too. Yes, big numbers. Definitely, um, no doubt. Now, if we go back to, I want to just do something for a second. Jan, what they say, January fifteenth. Let me just take this back. Well, here yeah, I'll take this. I want to take the spy back just to January fifteenth. I want to see what happened here. Yeah, as a couple of the traders saying, what a nice profit. That's it's pretty. Been intense. a good market since that last Wednesday. Oh my Wednesday. God, seriously. So January fifteenth. Nah, look at that. Okay, so January fifteenth. Sold. That was, yeah, that was, that's the sell that was, down. You that can see wrong, that. That was a wrong place to be selling. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it went lower. I mean, that's right. I mean. Yeah, I guess in theory, but look where if you, you, are, if look where you are on that chart. Oh, yeah. No, I'm just saying if they, it was a short-term thing, that, sure. you know. Sure, sure, sure. It, it bottomed out uh, the 20th. It did. You know. That's being a little bit selective on the terms of looking at that chart. That seems like almost selling at the low, but 
You're right. It oh yeah, quite no, 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 no doubt about yeah. that. You know, I, I guess I can't, I can't picture. I mean, in the same respect, that just could have been a sell. They could have been long the entire time as it was cascading down to start the year. Yeah, yeah. It's very I wasn't possible. thinking of it that that's way. That's why. I mean, that's basically at the low. Yeah. Uh, these NQs won't give it up. NQH7. They're hanging at these highs. And the longer you hang there, guess what? The higher you can go. Now we're testing again. Lots of action coming into tomorrow. That's it? That was a quick that hour, quick, man. man. Holy Lots cow. of action in the market. Time flies. Unreal. You stay right there, man. Basil Chapman's coming right up, folks. Growl and Prowl with you. Then, of course, we're going to the Thicket Store headquarters. Uh, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, myself, Andy. We'll be back with a great guest. Andy's got a great guest. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Real. Go get him, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.